Hello, today you're in the shot with the Wizard of Wood, and today I want to talk about a controversial topic in wood restoration, and that's the use or non use of sodium hypochlorite. Sodium hypochlorite is one of those uh, topics that when we put it out there, you know, half the people say you, you can use it, and half the people say you can't use it. And I want to discuss why people say they can't use it and, whether, and let you decide whether or not you should use it or not use it. Uh, there's a bunch of different cleaners out there uh, besides uh, sodium hypochlorite. We have sodium percarbonate, which I'll touch on a little bit in this video as an alternative. But there is um, uh, hydrogen peroxide. There's sodium hydroxide. It can be used as a cleaner. There's TSP. There's other cleaners out there. But today I want to talk about sodium hypochlorite. And there are basically two types of sodium hypochlorite we use. We use either household bleach or we use a commercial grade, which is usually around 12.5%. This is usually around... Five to eight percent on household bleach, usually down around that five five and a half mark. <clears throat> um, and these can, uh, are both used in wood restoration. Now the problem with using sodium hypochlorite in wood restoration is not so much the use, but the misuse of it. And what I mean by misuse is we make it too strong than it needs to be. A good solution, if you're going to use sodium hypochlorite, is to use household bleach, two to four parts uh, water to one part household bleach and like a quarter cup or a little bit of soap for cling, that will vertical surface that will help it cling and, and work on the mold and mildew issues. Now, we're just talking about the use of sodium hypochlorite now, not the non-use and so forth. We'll get to that and, and, and so forth. But uh, that would be a good solution that has been recommended by the Forest Products Laboratory who do testing and have found that 3% mold, you know, it'll remediate 3% mold and mildew and so forth. Now the, the problem you get into is more porous versus non-porous surfaces uh, regarding sodium hypochlorite, not whether or not it's good for the wood or not good for the wood. Now, here's the real controversial topic part of it, the part that people are just uh, spouting off and talking and they're not really sure what they're talking about or they're repeating something that somebody told them that somebody told them. And that is in regards to Sodium hypochlorite destroys the lignin in the wood. Now, lignin is the glue-like substance that holds the wood together, okay? Now, with the lignin in paper making, it was, chlorine was used. Notice I say chlorine. Chlorine was used to break down the lignin, so leaving you the pulp for paper making. We're not making paper. It's not chlorine. It's sodium hypochlorite. And we're talking about a responsible solution to use. Now you say, well, oh, it's terrible for wood. It's going to break down the lignin. I challenge you with sodium hypochlorite, chlorine bleach, to not just take my word for it, but check it out for yourself. Sodium hypochlorite is used to purify water. It is used in, in restaurants for food prep and cleaning. The, the, it's a solution that is used by the Board of Health. So the Board of Health will use it to clean off our food service that we're going to eat off of. We use it to purify water, but it's going to destroy our wood. We've got to back off of this a little bit. If it's misused and we use straight commercial bleach on it, yeah, we're going to hurt the wood. We're going to discolor it. We'll hurt lignin. We'll leave, we won't be able to rinse it out of the wood. It'll dry the wood out. And that's the problem. It's the misuse. Now, that's the use of sodium hypochlorite. Now, do we use sodium hypochlorite in wood restoration or do we use one of the alternatives that I mentioned? And the next best one is usually sodium percarbonate and you add water to, usually warm water or hot water to the sodium percarbonate. It helps dissolve it better and, and create your solution. Basically, it just becomes a hydrogen peroxide. But anyway, or uh, sodium peroxide. Um, what we want to do here is Talk about porous and non-porous surfaces, okay? So if we're working on a, a porous surface like wood is, chlorine bleach does not work as well on those, in those scenarios. It works better on a non-porous surface like the siding of a house um, and so forth. And that's a great application for it. In wood, it doesn't work so good on non-porous and it doesn't really get to the organic growth of mold, mildew, and algae and so forth. Sodium percarbonate is a little better for those non-porous surfaces. It's also more, it's more of a, a greener product. 
So when people say, uh, you know, I'm real environmentally friendly, this is the business model of my company, probably using sodium percarbonate. If you're worried about, um, you know, cleaning more of the organic growth on those non-porous versus porous surface, I get this argument between sodium hypochlorite and sodium percarbonate, but not whether or not it can be used in wood restoration. Now, moving fast forward from what I just said, why would you use sodium hypochlorite? More for maintenance than anything. When you go out to maintain a deck, the mold and mildew should be on top of your sealer, your stain, and what you wanna do in that situation is go out, do a light cleaning, come back and recoat. Your mold and mildew on the surface, the sodium hypochlorite solution that I mentioned, four parts, two to four parts water, one part household bleach, and some soap will clean that up real nice and easy and then you can recoat. So for maintenance coats, much better than it is for your original coats. Anyway, uh, that's my thing on sodium hypochlorite. I could go further to emphasize my point. If I ask you guys to drink sodium hydroxide, you probably tell me no. Sodium hydroxide is used as a cleaner. It's also more of a paint stripper or used in paint stripping. But yet if I told you, asked you to drink it, you tell me no but yet you put it in your mouth every day just about because sodium hydroxide is a lot of toothpaste. So it's not the product, the chemical, it's how it's used or how it's misused. Sodium hypochlorite, because it's the most used, it's the most misused. So don't misuse it. It can be an effective cleaner, but there are, are, there are alternatives. You can use those as well. Hope this video helped you guys out. Uh, maybe it'll create some conversation. It's usually, like I said, controversial. If anybody has any questions, Feel free to message me, contact me, however you want to do it. Stop in and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more tips, and I'll talk to you.